Louder, Tina Koto, hello and welcome back to Freelancer, <laughs> with me, Bertros, as our host. Today, hopefully, we're going to be able to complete Mission 5, or is it Mission 4? I think it's Mission 5. Yes, I'm sure it's Mission 5, because the last episode was 4. <laughs> you know, we're here today in the Bretonian well, Leeds Bar. With all these lovely people that I've talked to several times, we're only going to be interested in this man and this woman. You know, I'll quickly just check the news. All the news that's fit for you. This is the Colony News Service. Ah, some kind of liberty politician has died. And Jacoby's taken his place in some kind of summit. Okay. Hmm. All right, let's see what money they've got for us. Well, it's nice to see you. Yep, it is nice to see me. <laughs> nice to see us. 5,200, what do you got for it's us? It's so nice to see you. Yes. <laughs> uh, 5,000, nope, you've got the better deal. But who has the ultimate super duper best? Oh, that's actually one of the people for a change. You'll take that. It's, uh... Where is it? Stokes Astridfield. Piece of cake. To me. All right then. Good luck. Yeah, let's go. Take out the Gaians. Right now, I should mention um, I didn't because I didn't last episode, but when we come to a new uh, what would you call it? Area like Britonia. Like we were in Liberty before. Now we're in Britonia. It comes with a whole new suite of factions to become friends and enemies with so you have things like the Bretonian police the uh I think that's it for uh law enforcement anyway we're taking out the Gaians which is a, a kind of a, a bandit type thing I guess and I'm about to employ a move that I discovered through a private YouTube message you Cruise up at high speed, dock right next to it, and you save yourself a bit of time. So yeah, that just goes for everyone else who might be watching. If you feel that you uh, might know some information that might help out other people watching, perhaps even uh, influence the series itself, uh, feel free to share your information. Yeah, that the person in particular who told me that has given me a, a whole host of information. And I'm going to see if I can try and use a little bit of that in this episode as well. For example, I've uh, rebound my keys here. Free flight to one, two, three, four, all along there. So uh, it's easier to access these commands. I don't have to click them. And I clicked it at the start when I left Planet Leeds. And I, in my brain, I was just like, why did you do that? <laughs> anyway, let's just quickly take a look at our uh, status. 65,000, 68 to go. Been planned for five and a half hours. Okay, yeah, so the Liberty Navy hates us. Yeah, well, the Gaians really hate us. The Mollies and the Gaians are the uh, kind of bandit types in Bretonia. Yeah, that's. Uh, despite all the deaths, the rogues still pretty much like us. And this is our list of friends. The Bretonian Police, Boex, DSE, and then just a few smaller companies. Well, small. We're all interplanetary. And let's see if we can use that, uh... Hostile ships in range. Kill we engine. Yeah. I'm gonna use what's left of you to grease my ship. Notice I was traveling at a 300. I think I'm close to 300 there. And I was still able to, uh... And I was shooting. And a nice tip for a combat is to kill your engines, so that that way you can see that I'm just carrying on on using momentum. Or conservation of momentum, I guess. In space. The, there's no friction to slow me down, so I just keep flying in the right direct, the direction I last thrusted. Which is quite, quite realistic, actually. This is how a real space fight would go, in my opinion. Anyway, Leonard Pearls. 
You don't have any damage anymore. <laughs> Got to take out the last of these guys, and then we'll be able to start mission five. Uh, now, Junior was talking about how she went to Planet New London. I didn't even show off. Uh, yes, I didn't even talk. Mention new ship, new ship, new weapons, new shield, new everything. <laughs> yeah, this is the uh, what was it called? The Cavalier, I think. This is just a, a standard. Bretonian light fighter and despite it being light it's better pretty much in every way well, it's got more armor than the uh, the Liberty heavy fighter the defender and really for the whole role-playing thing where I have to kind of blend in with the Bretonians kind of going undercover trying to what's the word being an outlaw in Liberty ditching our ship getting a new one yeah fitting in with the Bretonians on, dude. Good job. More. Not done yet. There are more hostiles at the next waypoint. Yep. Click go. Yeah, we'll show it off. I think uh, the Cavalier. Yeah. So I've got Skyrail and Rippers. I think you can, these are like the common weapons at the moment in the shops. Uh, what else have I got since you saw Wasp Cruise Disruptor? I believe. I'm starting to carry around these drone mines because people seem to drop them. So that's what I'm using. Oh dear. Oh. Darn it. Wasn't able to activate my kill engine thing. I can't kill the engine. <laughs> okay, we'll just uh, have to fight these guys like a uh, normal, like I would normally. Ah! Yeah, the shields are on this ship's quite well, doing well I believe. I guess it's because it's uh, strong to the types of weapons that these Bretonians have. Oh, I say as my shield goes down. So this is a difficulty 9 or 10 mission. The missions really start to uh, scale and, and difficulty with the money that you get. Something that I tried to talk about in the last episode? I think so. Come on, dude. Two and two guys left. I'll bet you three are gonna like jump in or cruise in. Tractor beam. Yeah, there's another dude coming in. What did I tell you? Where's my support? Two guys, oh dear. <laughs> Maybe I should have picked a simpler mission so that we could get into the game a bit faster. Come on, dude. Smile for the camera, you're on YouTube. What's your name? Valentine Bulkley. Valentine! I just realized Valentine. That took like two seconds for my brain to just go, oh, that's a weird name. And who do we have here? Humphrey Richman. Hi, Humphrey. Hi, Valentine. Boom. And that should be everything. Cambridge, eh? Planet Cambridge. No, don't click that. Use your hotkeys, bird. No, use your hotkeys for that as well. So, yeah, uh, okay, looks like we're having to leave this system. Travelling down to New London, which I have not been to, because I just bought the Cavalier ship on, on um on lead seeing as they sold it and you know it was cheap enough that I could buy it so why not right okay I think though that Cambridge is its own system so I'm probably gonna link I know that the jump gate goes from up here 
It's probably going to link down to there or there or something. All right, I'll, go, I'll bring you guys back in once we're close to planet Cambridge. How about that? Dark. Just employ our fast strategy once again. Dark. Yes. I haven't failed it yet. <laughs> Alright guys, I'll see you in Planet Cambridge. I just wanted to quickly bring you guys in just so that you could see the uh, new London system. It's actually very different from Leeds. It's very red. I quite like it. Yeah, this is a very nice looking system. Right, yeah, that's just a... Oh! Okay. Get rid of the turret camera. And go. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, this is the first time that you guys have seen a uh, a trade lane interception. What happens is that the bandits will uh, uh, destroy it, well, incapacitate, I guess, one of the trade lane rings. And that causes a trade lane disruption, as a uh, lovely computer just told us. Uh, oftentimes, though, the, uh, the attacking bandits, in this case the Corsairs, are just going to get owned. Because the uh, people using the trade lanes tend to be much better equipped. Mine to the face. <laughs> See, that's sort of the first mine that I think we've seen in the game as well. Yeah, I should also. I didn't mention the. Uh, so the Mollies and Gaians in the Bretonia are a lot better equipped as well, I should say. Okay, so well, that was our. Uh, Brief interruption there. We will return once we get to the Cambridge system. Just quickly take a look. Okay, yeah, we're going down there. Yep, see you at Cambridge. And pow! Change of scenery once again. Look at this, guys. It's very, very nice in Britonia. Once again, quite red like New London. But yeah, now we've got this new kind of star thing. Wow. There's one thing that they got right in this game, it is the backgrounds, I think. Very, very spacey. And here's planet Cambridge, which kind of looks a bit like Earth, I suppose. <laughs> very cloudy, very green. And we're friends with it. What more could you want? Let's land on this thing. Like that. Blah. Sergeant Battle. Do a barrel roll! That's right. Oh, but I think my series is need to have at least a couple of memes in them in order to make them kind of interesting. <laughs> Do a barrel roll! No, I can't even say it. Oh well. And here we are, very hilly, very interesting. It's kind of a bit of a steampunk sort of thing going on here with the uh, Bretonian planets I've noticed. Alright, well, uh, yeah, we'll, I'll just do some quick, we'll, we'll just actually do it on camera, I mean, because we haven't really picked anything up, have we? Yeah, okay, kind of. Complete. Yeah, so this is what I do off camera, really, just, uh, take a look at all, all my things and just go, well, I've already got one of those, bye. And then just uh, take a look through, see, thruster, don't need that. Commodities, what do we got for commodities that we picked up from those danged Corsairs? Scrap metal, worth five dollars almost everywhere. Well, Rochester wants a good price for it. Hmm. A bit of extra money on the side. Anyway, cutscene! Hey. I was wondering when you'd show. Did you find Quintain? That's the thing. The good doctor has disappeared. You mean like the others? No, not like them. This one left a trail, but I'm gonna need your help, Trent. Are you with me? You know what, Junie? Why don't we just leave you to find Quintain by yourself, and we'll just uh, take the artifact and, you know, fly off to do something else. <laughs> That's why I'm here. Count me in. Good. 
What do you know about xenoarchaeology? Not much. Why? Just let me do the talking. And whatever you do, keep that artifact out of sight. I don't want a repeat performance of Manhattan. Anything else? Yeah. Bring the bottle. Very nice of you to see us on such short notice, Mr. Vance. When you said in your message that you and Dr. Trent were from the Hammer Research Institute in Liberty, I could hardly refuse. It's not entirely unusual for Dr. Quintain to miss an appointment now and then, even one regarding funding. We understand. We'd made it quite a while ago. I'm just pleased the university put me in touch with you. I do a lot of work for Dr. Quintain, shuttling people and equipment back and forth to his research sites. I'm sorry, usually I can find him, but... You mean you don't know where he is? He doesn't know where he is. Ouch! Oh, he hasn't been around for weeks. Probably doing deep research. He doesn't always tell us. Dr. Sinclair doesn't even know where he is. Have you spoken to her yet? No. She's been doing field work for the professor for years. Has she? Do you think she'd mind if we looked her up? No. Funding is what these scientists live for. Well, that and a little recognition, of course. Of course. Can you tell us where Dr. Sinclair is now? Sprague. I'm afraid I can't get her a message, though. It's too far out. That's all right. We'll go to her. You've been very helpful, Mr. Vance. Thank you. Uh, I think Dr. Sinclair will be quite pleased. Last week, nothing. This week, you and the Rhinelanders. What Rhinelanders? From the New Berlin Museum. They're also very interested in their work. You just missed them. Uh-oh. We gotta move. Get whatever you need here on Cambridge and meet me in space. Don't take too long, Doctor. I won't. <laughs> Academics. I'll just stand over here in the doorway. <laughs> okay, well, we've already done what Junie suggested to grab some equipment, so let's go! And the awkward silence that follows as we leave the planet's surface. Cake! Cake on the billboard. <laughs> oh, but I hope that's high enough quality for people to see. Let's do this thing. Freelancer Alpha 1-1, this is planet. Took you long enough. We don't have any time to waste. Let's go. Oh, sorry, Miss Boots. <laughs> I was just standing in a doorway for hours. Oh, dang it. I had, I had Doc going, I wanted free flight. Oh well. She's gonna talk as soon as we enter the trade lane, isn't she? These Rhinelanders could have left hours ago. We have to get to Sinclair before they do. I checked the star chart. Sprague is a remote planet in the Omega-3 system. It's not too far from here. Maybe this Dr. Sinclair is all we need to find out more about our artifact. Well that looks cool, what is that? Let me see what it is. Ross Planetoid. Incoming ships, this is the Norfolk. Your trajectory indicates that you are traveling to the Omega systems. Be advised that tensions between the Bretonian Empire and Rhineland have escalated. A military confrontation cannot be ruled out. Roger, Norfolk. Our destination is Sprague and Omega-3. We have no intention to enter Rhineland territory. Understood. We have no reports of Rhineland activity in that system. Norfolk out. Hold on. We'll take this trade lane. You lead, Trent. And Doc, right in front of it, to save time. This entire conflict with Rhineland is about the damn alien artifacts. Did you hear that President Jacoby is now trying to persuade the Queen to ban all artifacts here in Bretonia? I'm sure she has her reasons. Wait, Bretonia has a Queen? <laughs> well, that's news to me. Well, I guess that kind of makes sense with the real world, or with England having a queen. There's the jump gate. You first, Trent. Well, I don't see it. Ah, oh, there it is. Dog. Woman super eyesight. <laughs> uh, jumping through the jump gate. You know, it's, it's it's so weird actually because it's like in a YouTube video. I guess you could uh, going through these things sort of gets a little boring. I think for you guys, despite the graphics looking so cool. <laughs> I guess it doesn't take that long, like ten seconds or so. Hmm. Uh. The star chart describes Sprague as an unpopular. 
populated planet with no trade lane connections. We'll have to fly from here to Freeport 1 and then through open space. Okie dokie. Yet again, a talk journey? Uh, apparently not. Oh! Purdy. This is where we have to leave the trade lane. Incoming ships! Be advised! Rhineland forces have set up blockades in Omega 7. No ships are allowed access to Rhineland space. All merchant vessels are to remain at Freeport 1 until the crisis is over. Freeport 1, we're on our way to Sprague to bring supplies to an archaeological expedition. Have you detected any Rhineland ships in the area? Negative, but Sprague lies beyond our patrol routes. If you are attacked, we won't be able to send help. Understood. Thanks for the warning. Trent, I've uploaded the coordinates to Sprague into your neural net. Come on. The situation is really getting out of control now. A blockade in Omega-7? Rhineland is now in direct violation of the Borman Treaty. The colonies haven't been this close to an open military conflict since the 80-year war between Rhineland and the GMG. Oh, a bit of a... So the lore of this, uh... Vance gave game. me the frequency of the dig site beacon. I'm not picking up a signal yet. We probably have to get closer. Yeah, probably, Journey. Well done. <laughs> All right, here we are, Almost planet Spark. Still no signal. Gah. <laughs> and that's gonna range. We made it. You duck first, Trent. With pleasure, Journey. Where did they come from? They just sort of appeared. Well, at least they're pushovers. You know, you look for Rhinelanders. These are like... This is like mostly a military nation from what I understand, and... Yeah, they're complete pushovers. Well, I guess you've got to be able to... beat them during the campaign, so... They probably get better, I'm not, not sure. Two down, two to go. Jenny hasn't killed any of them. Oh yeah. Oh. My shields are doing okay. My shield batteries and nanobots are sitting unused. I love it. All of them except the engine and communication system. Last one. We have to head down to the planet and get Sinclair the hell out of here. I hope we're not too late. You first, Trent. We have to hurry. I have a bad feeling that there are more of them out there somewhere. Yeah, probably. <laughs> the victory music, why is that playing? This isn't really a victory, we killed four military ships. There we go. And... cutscene. Those ships came out of nowhere. Looked like some kind of cloaking technology. Not even the Liberty Navy has ever managed to get those to work. The dig site isn't on any of the charts. We're gonna have to search for it. Let's hope it's still there, and that these Rhinelanders didn't find it already. I'm getting a faint signal. It must be the dig site. Hold on. Yes, I think that's it. Looks like they had to excavate inside this rock formation to get to the dig site. Activating landing sequence. This must be the entrance. I'm going in. No lights, no radio contact. This doesn't feel right. Let's hope for the best. Maybe they're all digging for artifacts and don't even know we're coming. Or maybe they're all dead and undead ghosts or something. T 
you think we're too late? We have to find Sinclair and get the hell out of here. And you say you got this where exactly? A thief on Manhattan. He was killed because of it. Now those same people are after us. We were told you could help. Look around you, Miss Zane. You are standing in the living history of the Dom Kavash, a race that predates early man by over 10 million years. Up until recently, relatively speaking, they were the inhabitants of much of our new home here in Sirius. I've been working for years to piece together fragments of their past, their culture, technology, language, anything. These panels here have been the core of my research. They've shed light on some of their writings, but thanks to this piece, I'm close to unlocking their code. Yes, I know quite a lot about this artifact, but not why anyone would want to kill for it. Know anything about cloaking Rhineland ships? Mr. Trent, I am a scientist. I deal in facts, not fiction. Well, you better listen to the facts. A lot of people have died because of this trinket. There's something going on in the colonies. People are being killed. Others have disappeared, like your colleague, Dr. Quintain. Quintain hasn't disappeared. He's a recluse. He's gone under, that's what I think. And a man like him only goes under for a very good reason. I think he knew too much. This is ridiculous. Is it? We find out that Rhineland has an active interest in your research, and when we get here, we're attacked by Rhineland ships using a technology I have never seen before. Still not enough of a connection for you? How about that friends of mine, trusted people in the Liberty military assigned to stop illegal artifact smuggling, are gone, like they were never there. Maybe they knew too much, too. They just didn't see it coming like Quintain. Well, I do, and you should, too. And with him gone, that only leaves you. I figure those ships are coming back here soon, and there's no telling what else they're bringing with them. You, Doctor, can either be a live scientist on the run or a dead one in the ground. Which will it be? I'm not leaving without my work. Besides, how do I know you aren't the enemy? Doctor, we've got over a dozen ships on our screen. I don't know what kind. We didn't see them coming. I told you they were coming back. Pack up what you can and send the others to the ships. Yes, Doctor. All right, I'm with you. Come on, we've got to go. Doctor, the panels have been loaded into Mr. Trent's hold. Good. Get clear while you can. They'll tear this place apart. Come on! Oh, uh, <laughs> the first major explosion in this movie slash game. Bye-bye, cruise disruptors. I had like 10 countermeasure flares. Anyway, why did I say movie? What was that? We're almost there. Ah, uh, javelin missile. Just a few more seconds. We'll lose them in the nebula. Not we if we fly it. straight. Hold on. Checking radar. Clear. No sign of them. Doctor. Where are we going? Baxter Research Station. It's been abandoned for over a decade, but life support should still be functioning. You weren't joking when you told me about ships appearing out of nowhere. Thank you for getting me out of there. You're welcome. Yeah, no problem. Not. Woo! It's another one of this these star things. We should land here. Keep your eyes open, they can't be that far off. I'll go first. 
as usual with this game. <laughs> Since when has Dream Devil gone second in anything? That would make it interesting. I think we've managed to shake them for now. I hope you're right. Do you ever get tired of this? The running and fighting? No, this. Tell you the truth, I don't even pay attention anymore. It's a view like this that got me into Xenoarchaeology in the first place. I thought, if the universe exists for eons, but I could only experience it for a brief moment of time, I wondered what a more ancient race must have thought of it. I wanted to live through them. If you're right and Quintain has hidden himself, that means he's still out there somewhere. What's that? They found us! We've got to get out of here! Where? Where are we going? The leads. I have a friend there. Come on. Well, let's just take this brief opportunity to uh, check out the equipment that, <laughs> that this station has got. RBT-179. What have you got for me? Generic, terrible junk. Oh, you got a torpedo launcher, I guess. Have I got anything weird? <laughs> let's check out the bar as well. This is probably going to be full of robots. Whoa. Okay, where are the right line chips? Where's the siren? <laughs> Alright, back to the action. The station is exploding! We can't outrun them this time. Trent, engage. With pleasure. Let's do this thing. Are we gonna get any help? Or is it just going to be us three? Oh, that star has given up radiation. Oh, whatever it is. Keep me away from it. Ah. Not for long. Ruben Schneider. What a generic last name. The Rhyme Land ships are coming. And they want our artifact. Gotta think of a rhyme quick. <laughs> They're using lethal force. We know that's a fact. Or well, something like that. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Make that happen, people. Make a song. The robot's gone, gal. Oh, one more dude. It's a gunboat. Should be a piece of cake. Radar is clear. Nice fighting, but I'm sure there'll be more. We have to get to Trent's friend in Leeds. I'm sure the jump gate's being watched. Sinclair, what's your stat? Oh. This. Any ideas how to get out of here? I'm okay. There's a jump hole to Cambridge nearby. That's our best shot. From there, it should be easy to get to Leeds. Okay, let's go. So tell me, why did you come here? Surely not just to return the artifact to me. Doctor, ever since Trent came in possession of the artifact, we've been hunted. First by the Liberty Navy, then bounty hunters, now Rylanders. Everybody seems to be after it, and we don't even know what it is. 
A friend told us that Professor Quintain might be able to shed some light on this. And Quintain has disappeared? His lab was destroyed. The only lead we could find was your pilot, Vance. He told us where to find you. There's the jump hole. Trent, you go first. I'd love to, Junie. Since when do I ever go second around this place? Are we all going together? That'd be cool. Nope. <laughs> ah. I just realized this ship kind of looks like a bit like a fish. <laughs> ah. Well. We have to head to New London and from there to Leeds. I doubt the Rhinelanders will look for us here, but we need to stay sharp. Trent, take the lead. Head for the new coordinates. We need to know what's going on with this artifact. Why everyone's after it. No idea. I found it on planet Pygar and knew immediately that it was of great archaeological significance. I was scheduled to fly to Cambridge to get Professor Quintain's expert opinion. But then the artifact was stolen and I didn't even go to Cambridge. I actually haven't seen the professor in years. Damn. I guess the best thing we can do is fly to Leeds and regroup. So Quintain? No. Sinclair is the one that found this artifact, dug it up out of the ground. Right. So it got stolen from her by the, the dude with a scar and a British accent. And he decided to go to Freeport 7 to sell it to someone. But they blew up the station. Whoa. Damn it. They found us. Trent, engage. Stop! Do not open fire. We mean you no harm. We're here to warn you. Why should we trust you? Because we have deserted from Rhineland. Our squadron opened fire on us after we disobeyed orders to destroy a civilian transport. We had no choice but to flee. The Rhineland military is watching all exits out of this system. You have an artifact they want, and they know that you're here in Cambridge. Why are you telling us this? Survival. We need you as much as you need us. We're heading to a jump hole that will take us directly to Leeds. It will be watched, but they are guarding it well because very few people know about it. Together, we might be able to fight our way through. I believe them. Fine. We're coming with you. It smells like All a trap to me. We're uploading the coordinates. What's the plan? Our wing was outfitted with cloaking devices. Strange looking things. They're part of a secret Rhineland weapons program. We'll cloak ourselves before we reach the jump hole. They will think that you're an easy target, but we'll give them a little surprise. Okay. As I said, yeah, it sounds exactly like the sort of trap that, uh, It'd be a very clever trap to pull off, really. Befriend us and then lead us right to this massive ambush thing. <laughs> How are we doing? Almost there? Maybe? Aha! So it's a little bit out of the nebula. Just got it in open space. Very few jump holes are like that where they're just in open space. They're normally in these clouds. Damn it. The jump hole is blocked by a battleship. What are we gonna do? We'll take care of the battleship. Maintain radio silence. Look out! There's two Rhinelanders coming to destroy your battleship. <laughs> are those thrusters? Yeah, the thruster things are gone. They're completely invisible. Commander Zay, Mr. Trent, we've been looking for you. Hand over the artifact and we will spare your life. No way. Have it your way. All fighter wings, engage. Target their engines. It's a trap! Incoming torpedoes. Evasive maneuvers. We're hit! All hands! Send a ship! That's right. You don't mess with Trent and his friends. <laughs> Don't they have any life, life raft, what are they called? 
emergency escape vehicles. Yes, sir. Let's do this. Can't believe it. We just took out a what, what was it? A battleship. We destroyed a freaking battleship, guys. How cool is that? It's amazing what just a couple of torpedoes can do. No. Cloud submission didn't actually do anything. Mm -hmm. No kidding, sir. Wait, check out his name there. It was Ernest Andrell with some kind of weird symbol. Yeah, look at that. It's like a beta or something. That was weird. Is that normal Russian to have a beta as part of your language? I don't know. Is beta a letter? Oh, ow. Pressed X instead of C. Almost there. Just one little shippy to go. The Rans von Strands. That was it. Let's get out of here. Mr. Trent, you go first. Go. Now I clicked it. You gotta use the hotkeys, bird. And we'll just uh, dock with it right now. Yes, yeah, so there's the leftovers. Oh, one of them just... Okay. Let's go on. And Junie's still flying her custom defender. Weren't we supposed to try and find new ships? That's what she and Tobias told me to do, and look at her. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> Onto the lead system. Kind of a round trip, actually. We started in Leeds, New London, Cambridge, Omega Great. Three. Thank you for your help. You're welcome. But this isn't the end of it. Something has happened in Rhineland, and I'm afraid the worst is yet to come. We'll fly to the Norfolk and give ourselves up. Hopefully, someone in the Bretonian military will believe our story. Good luck to you. The trade lane to Leeds is near. We should go. Who are we meeting on leave? An old friend of Trent's. This will be interesting. Sure will be. In fact, I'm going to have to add subtitles again. Yeah, I just added a couple of subtitles to the last episode just because it might be a little quiet on YouTube. And I'm going to have to do the same thing here, unfortunately. One of the downsides to Tobias is that he's quiet and the music is loud. Mm hmm. There we go. I loved using the hotkeys because it's just like you don't have to do that. You free up your mouse so you can whiz it around. Take the trade lane. We're almost there. No, I will not take the trade. Of course, I'm going to take the trade lane, Judy. Sometimes she's a bit Dog. controlling. Wouldn't make a good <clears throat> girlfriend. Come on, Microsoft. You could have so made this a romance. I can't believe we made it through all of this. Thank you. Don't mention it. Land on Leeds. We'll meet in the equipment room. Victory music. Proper and deserved this time. <laughs> ah. Roger that. Your request to land is granted. Proceed to land. And down we go. Can we skip that? Nope. Another ballad of victory music. <gasps> Trent, where have you been? I've been worried about you. But I see you've been in good company. Juni, meet Tobias. Richard Winston Tobias Esquire, dear lady. Tobias sort of uh, raised me. And from such humble beginnings, your head grew to its present size? 
We're all clear. Nobody followed us. Good. And who do we have here? Another girl? <laughs> Tell me, boy. What have you been doing? Tobias, we need a safe place to lay low for a while. Doctor, can you decipher the writing on the artifact? I can do most of it, but not alone. I need Quintain. Damn. Like it or not, Trent, if we're gonna get some answers, I think we're gonna have to find Quintain. I knew you were gonna say that. Look, this may take some time. Sinclair will do everything she can with her work, and I'll dig around for any leads on Quintain. You try and scare up some business, we could probably use the credits. Anyway, I can't have you lounging around here like a big ox waiting for things to happen. What? I can't remember when I ever saw such a vision of loveliness. Oh, brother. <laughs> One of the very small hints at romance and freelancer. Uh, anyway guys, thank you for watching uh, this episode of Freelancer. We'll come back in the next episode. Ready for the next mission. How far are we away? Uh, what is that, 15,000? Okay. See you next time guys.